Okay. Let's see how much longer I can hold out. You see a dashing young man who turns to greet you. I am Richter, a knight of the hold. Who wouldst thou be? I see you as you suspiciously, thou art back for more than. Thou'lt not trick me again, I warn thee. He clears his throat and examines you more closely. Ah, thou shouldst not mind in my mumblings, milady. Looking down, he shifts his weight from foot to foot for a moment. Glancing back up, eyes narrowed, he says, Go away, man entered mine armory who claimed to be the avatar, just as thou dost claim. When I turned to reach for a weapon he had requested, he purloined several items and ran away. I assume, he says carefully, thou art not that rogue. A look for disgust appears on his face.
A look of disgust appears on his face. Obviously, someone who doth not seek unity did this. He is not worthy of reward. After a moment, he calms down. Art thou investigating this crime against mankind? Then let me give thee these. He holds up some stone chips. They were found at the base of the statue. Thou wilt notice that they are stained red in some places. I believe it to be blood. Yeah, we kinda saw that outside. I am the armor of the hold. Yes, thou art in Serpent's Hold, home to many noble and valiant knights. Lord John Paul is charged with overseeing the hold, though Sir Horf is actually the captain of the guard. The rest of us, of course, are here to serve Lord British and the needs of Britannia. Obviously, there is many a vile beast looking to terrorize the countryside on the mainland. Tis our duty to protect the common man. In addition, we are here to provide examples of proper behavior to, to the general populace. I 
I trust his ability as I trust no other. I cannot tell thee how proud I was when he chose me to be his second in command. Uh, I don't know if that him being racist or him being fellowship brainwashed. Okay, this is the person we need to talk to. She takes the stone chips from you and examines them. Using several dyes of strange and unusual mixtures, she analyzes the blood. Finally, after a few silent minutes, she looks up grinning. I have determined the nature of the blood. It is definitely not human. In fact, she looks back down at the sample and raises one eyebrow. It is gargoyle blood. She appears thoughtful. What is odd, my lady, is that there is only one gargoyle in Serpent's Hold.
but I cannot imagine Sir Horf would have anything to do with this wanton destruction. His rough demeanor softens. To be my blood, he says, but to be not the one who defaced the statue, to have been wounded while trying to stop the vandal. He looks down at his feet. To know who he was, to have been very dark, to ask you not to tell Sir Richter. To know he will not believe one who openly defies the fellowship. To know little about it, to like little about it. To have been very poor visibility, but to be positive, I was scuffling with an armed knight. You are greeted with a stern look on this man's face. Thou mayest call me Sir Penderin. Terrible shame, my lady. He eyes you coldly. I am a knight here in Serpent's Hole. Tis my job to help protect the citizens of Britannia. I live here in the hold with my lady.
Her name is Jihan, my lady, he says suspiciously. She is the provisioner. My lady, Britannia can be a dangerous place outside town boundaries. Especially now that the ruling faction have gone soft. Sounds like this guy has a beef. Well, I mean Lord British and his advisors. Though I'd follow the land's ideals to the ends of the land, I find it difficult to accept how poor the conditions are in Britannia. Brigands populate the land, disease overruns the towns, and corruption fills the councils. Were it not for the fellowship, I would be hard pressed to avoid falling on my own blade. Despite how dishonorable an act that may seem, The noble grab have people who strive to instill a greater sense of spiritual knowledge throughout all of Britannia. It will be but a matter of time, my lady, before all people will see the wisdom. Oh my god, stop moving.
Greetings to thee, Sir Duper. Art thou back again for thy study of lines for Brahmer? Yes, my good friend, Denton. I am all still conducting that study. He turns to you and shrugs, grinning sheepishly. The man before you seems to stare at you blankly. I am Sir Denton, my lady. I am the Tavern Keeper and Lady. I sell I sell refreshment to the sins of Britannia, most notably the Knights and Serpents Hold. Alm said every resident here is a noble warrior. Almost every resident here is a noble warrior. The exceptions would be Lady Jehan, the Provisioner, Lady Tori, Lady Lady the Healer, and Menion, the Trainer. So five characters are knights, and four aren't. Gotcha. Oh, I guess I forgot to count Sir Hoffel. I 
can also tell the about all the other residents. Sir Pendron is a knight of the hold. He is very friendly, but I've been told he can be overbearing at times. Despite his blindness, Sir Jordan perceives objects around him very well. He is an excellent tinkerer and can repair many items. Sir Horf is an excellent warrior. He is a gargolo that was found by two knights when he was very young. They chose to raise him as their own child. He is very honorable. Sir Horf has chosen to use the Gargish syntax of our language, so he may better maintain Psy cultural ties. Sir Horf has chosen to use the Gargish syntax of our language, so he may better maintain his cultural ties. You can tell when I'm tired because suddenly the typos go up a lot. He is second in command to Lord John Paul. He is teaching me how to gamble well. In fact, he began increasing the lessons after joining the fellowship. Oh 
no, that doesn't sound honorable at all. The Fellowship is a 20-year-old organization that holds many festivals, parades, and celebrations. The Fellowship is a 20-year-old organization that holds many festivals, parades, and celebrations. In addition, they may maintain a shelter in the town of Paz. They have an underlying philosophy called the Trident of Inner Strength. This triad is broke into the three. You know what? We've heard this story a dozen times, or rather. He is the Lord of Serpent's Hold. He is a capable leader and a fair man. He is the fighting instructor. In his spare time, he likes to make swords. Minion has been kind enough to give me one of his creations. Her healing skills are said to be unparalleled. Really? I be Lord British can bring back an entire party to life. I believe she is a druid. She was showing me how to be more compassionate than I was before.
She is very good at knowing what others are feeling and why they are experiencing such emotions. She is the Lady of Serpendron. She has been helping me better my sense of humor. She is the Lady of Serpendron. She has been helping me better my sense of humor. My jokes are very bad. If thou wilt like, I will tell thee one. Ha 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 ha, good one. Why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side. Oh, that joke is new, he says sarcastically. whispers in your ear. Kasai, we have heard that one before. Tis best we leave him before he indulges in another choke. Thou hast heard it before. See, the dog got let out. You see a man who despite being blind, quickly acknowledges you. I am Jordan, Sir Jordan, and now Art. He always, yes, but of course thou art. He laughs. Yes, but of course thou art. Tis true, Sir Jordan. He is the Avatar. Where'd the pronouns go? I 
think that's three times where the game has forgotten. Jordan smiles. I see. And who would style be? Shammy no. No. He points to Shammy no. He is. I am YOLO. I see, said the blind man to the group of old men he obviously can't see. Of course, he says patronizingly. How could I not recognize the great Iolo? He looks defensive. I had nothing to do with that. But I will tell thee that on the night of the incident, I heard the sounds of scuffling in the comments. And later on in the evening, I heard a woman cry out as if in surprise. I am not positive Avatar, but I, but I believe the voice was that of Lady Jehan. He nods his head knowingly. Someone has lost their sense of unity. I sell bows and crossbows here at Isla South. The original branch is in Britain, but I do find business here in the hold. Boy. The great archer himself, fellow, started that branch more than 200 years ago. Oh, 
helpful, but for some reason I could get him to use the crossbow bolts anymore. I heard her thank thee for the compliment. Put me more, wert thou aloe. Listen here, rogue, I truly am. Yes, yes, I know that I really are down low and I am Lord British. No, he's Jordy from Star Trek. So we have who I think is a Pickard, cause he's Bob. Richter, I think, is supposed to be Riker. Tori is true. Horfy is what? Horfy is worth. This is the only name that doesn't seem to make sense.
it just dawned on me. That is a naked painting. I'm sure these Star Trek references were only meant to be figured out if you've seen the television show. Since it would have only been in its first or second season by the time the game shipped. Oh. Denton is supposed to be DD. That 
That is why the bad Joe. Lady is supposed to be Crusher, the doctor, because she's a redhead, I guess. Site Denton is data makes sense. I know when I played this originally, I would never have picked up on it. I would have only they picked up one in Jordy only cause he's blind, and I knew of the actor from reading Rain Grey before Star Trek. Okay. Thank you. 
Wait, why did it not prompt for sleep times? For an instant, you see indecisiveness in her expression, then she suddenly gives in. Her words coming out in a torrent of information. afraid to speak, but knowing they would see through any facade, I can no longer silence the truth. My lord Serpenderin has not been the same gentle soul since he joined the fellowship. "'Twas not too long ago that my Penderin was a noble knight, one a lady could be proud of." But now she shakes her head in protest of a wrong he perceives in Britannia's government. He has defaced the statue of our beloved Lord British, she begins to sob. And he has battled and wounded a fellow knight who chanced upon him during his hour of misdeed. He came to me, she tries to choke back her tears, with another's blood on his sword.
After a few moments of your comforting, she regains her composure. Please do not be too harsh with him, she begs. I know not who Lady and Penderin would not say. My lady, he nods at you. Terrible shame, my lady. He eyes you coldly. What, thou art accusing me, preposterous? I had nothing to do with it. He shakes his head. Gonna throw the blame on her, eh? Thou wouldst take the word of a woman over that of a knight of the hold. Thou art lower than a worm. He glares at you for a moment, and then his expression changes. All right, he says, I am the one who defaced the statue, but only because the government has become so worthless and soft. He quickly turns away from me, ashamed. If thou dost think it best, he sighs, tomorrow I shall beg forgiveness from my fellow knights. So one of the core virtues in Ultima is humility.
basically. I have a feeling that our answer results in the same result. So that key in the cave is apparently the one that opens the weapon's door, but I have all those weapons already, so me. Nodding his agreement, he sighs again and turns away. But what opens this one?
Okay. Technically, I solved the puzzle. I can take them. But nobody has told me I can take them. It's funny how over time the meaty music just gets randomly jostled. He appears puzzled. I say, and how didst thou reach this conclusion? He smiles and extends his hand. Excellent job, Kisai. I cannot adequately express my gratitude. I will see that Sir Pendrin is properly reprimanded. I thank thee, Kisai. Okay, it's been 12 hours. Is that a good place to leave it for? Come back at 9 p.m. and we'll keep going.
Have a good morning.